Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21 yard line. time on the run pass option appeared to be an easy decision just gave it inside nice steady gain six yards on that last play here's second and four they'll run with pollard and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. They'll go with Pollard here on first down, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Brings up second and eight at the 41-yard line. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Throwing his Hurts. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And the Packers are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. But they certainly came out firing in this one. And while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that would be the last shot that they take in this game. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Randy Gregory able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. It's Rodgers. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And this one is incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Pollard, and just a couple yards there down to the 17. Second and eight. 
Reader brought him down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. At the Packers 17-yard line. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. A bullet throw, but incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. And Suckup will put this one right through. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And on that last drive... Went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held him to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. you think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On first down, Pollard. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. On the move to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Randy Gregory able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. On play action, it's Rodgers. Rolling to his right. Here's a diving catch right side. Really nice gain on the completion. However, still third and goal that they face now. Rodgers with a keeper. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Rodgers keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Packers have taken the lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Rams 3. Young Way Koo set to kick off. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Takes it at the seventh. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Looking deep downfield. And got his man complete. Touchdown, L.A. Jalen Waddle, 83 yards. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. 
get right back to it. And look, long drives have their place. We know that. They can wear teams down. But when you hit them with big plays like that, that can really be a shot to them. A big time one. Yeah, one play, but now your defense is probably saying, man, we could have used a little more rest over here. <laughs> Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. On play action, Rodgers. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Play action, now it's Rodgers. He's going to air this out deep for Harvin. A rifle's one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. But first down, Hurts. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. That catch good for only a couple. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And out of bounds right around the 20. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. Hurts. Flush to his right. And it's caught. Touchdown, Rams. Justin Jefferson. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Rams tack on.